Dumpty dum dum dum. Just a reminder, students, only five minutes left before the school assembly starts. Of course, this is a mandatory school assembly, which means a week's detention for anyone who is so much as a split second late. Name me one single thing more boring than Monday morning assemblies. My Uncle Lou's new wife, the one who gave up being a school librarian to write a book about being a school librarian. So, any guesses what today's assembly will be about? Hallway safety part two? The importance of flossing? The joys of stamp collecting? Stamp collecting? Really? Now that is righteous. You disagree? Students of Greendale Middle School? Huh? It's that time of year again. Time to select this year's Student of the Year. The student whose picture will be added to our own beloved Greendale Middle School Wall of Achievement. It can't be. Yes! Every year, one student has his or her picture added to this wall. And that lucky student is selected on the basis of academic performance, athletic achievement, citizenship, and popularity to become Student of the Year! No! Uh-oh. Uh, I was just, uh, contemplating the possible consequences of not observing proper hallway safety procedures during a fire drill. Really horrifying, you know? Harvey, mi amigo, I'm telling you, there's something about Sabi. Miss Spellman, it's nice to know that last week's assembly topic has had such an effect on you, but today our focus is on the student of the year! <laughs> Now, as I was about to say, the voting will take place on Thursday, and after all the votes are tallied, the name of the Student of the Year will be announced in a special assembly on Friday. The assembly will be covered on local television, as will the placing of the honored student's picture on the Wall of Achievement. Who will it be? Oh. Hey, what's up with all the stressing over this wall, Sabrina? Yeah, it's like you're looking at some kind of nightmare or something. In a way, I kind of am. Amazing. She looks just like you. She's my great-grandmother, Greendale's first ever student of the year. And that's my grandmother, and here's my mom. They were all named Sabrina, and they were all student of the year. It's kind of a tradition for the women on the mortar, uh, on my mom's side of the family. That is so cool. No, it isn't. Think about it, Chloe. Now everybody is going to expect me to be student of the year. But what if I'm not? What if I don't make it? Uncle Quigley, Aunt Hilda, Aunt Zelda, Salem, I'm painfully aware that you are wearing bags on your heads. Dare I ask why? You let your family down, Sabrina. We're so ashamed that we can't even show our faces in public. <laughs> it would be a lot easier on all of us if you'd just hit the road. Move to Guam, maybe. Change your name. I understand. I'll go, and I'll change my name to Gertrude and take up coal mining. You'll never hear from me again. Well, that went rather well. So, can I have Sabrina's room? What am I going to do? I can't disappoint my whole family. I've got to be student of the year. I don't know what you're freaking out about, Sabrina. You're a great student. Yeah, but... Yeah, and a fantastic athlete. Well, maybe not fantastic, but pretty good. I mean, you don't fall down as much as you used to. What Mr. Smooth is trying to say is that we'll vote for you. Yeah, everybody will. Well, maybe not everybody. I mean, Jem probably won't, but that's only one person. Well, maybe two people if you count Slugloaf, but... Allow me to translate. Sabrina, you're cute, you're nice, you're smart, you're in. I am? To, to Sabrina, Sabrina Spellman, Spellman the, the next, next student, student of the, of the year. year. Hold it right there. Harvey. I've been looking all over for you.
I'm having a major party Friday night to celebrate becoming the next student of the year. I'd really love for you to be there. Whoa! Time to cash a reality check, Gem. What makes you so sure you're going to be student of the year? Well, let's have a look, shall we? Student of the Year is chosen on the basis of academic performance, athletic achievement, citizenship, and popularity. Oh, good, Professor. You finished my extra credit assignment. A little custom-made bounce in the sneakers. That will take care of athletic achievement. Oh, goody! The blueprints for the new multi-million dollar library my daddy is donating to the school in my name. That's a slam dunk for citizenship. Don't spend it all in one place, boys. Hello? I'd like to order a total beauty makeover for tomorrow and on-site maintenance for the remainder of the week. Thank you. Now, what was that you were asking me? Some clueless question about how I could be so sure I'm going to win. See you at my victory party Friday night, Harvey. Oh, you can come too if you want, Chloe but I'm assuming that you'll be too busy comforting Sabrina. ta all! A college professor doing her homework? A complete makeover? Donating an entire library? How can I compete with that? You've got to. I don't want to have to go to her stupid victory party. Yeah, and check this. If Jim wins, she'll be pushing all of us around until we're in college. You know she's going to treat everybody like servants. <laughs> See what you've done to your friend, Sabrina? Harvey, another grape. We're miserable, and it's all your fault. Ow! Ah. Don't let us down, okay? Promise? No pressure here, Spellman. Now all you have to worry about is not disappointing your family and your friends. Here you go, my famous liver and bean omelets and toast and strawberry jam. Good, healthy, nutritious food for growing teenage bodies. Couldn't we just order some pizza? There's a great Mexican place on the corner. Maybe they do breakfast. Uh, thanks, Uncle uh, Quigley. She's eating a liver and bean omelet! All, All done, done quickly. quickly. Thanks. Uh, is there anything wrong, Sabrina? Oh, Aunt Zelda, this week they're choosing Student of the Year and... Student of the Year? Oh, I remember when your mother won that award. How proud she was and how proud our mother and grandmother were. It was certainly a day to remember. The entire student body gave her a standing ovation. And then the ticker tape parade through town afterwards. And now it's your turn. Oh, Sabrina, we're all going to be so proud. But Uncle Quigley, what if... Oh, my. I better check to see if my old tux still fits. And Hilda and Zelda, where are you going? To pick out outfits to wear to your award ceremony. This is a history-making event. We have to look elegant. I think you should go with something like this. Not bad. Now something dignified for you. Oops, maybe that's too dignified. Oh, that does it, Druce. Oh, you can run, but you can't hide. <sighs> What's the matter, Pumpkin? Afraid you're not going to be able to keep up the proud family tradition? How did you know? Hey, I'm not an insensitive clod. Believe it or not, I pay attention. I care. I feel your pain. And I thought if you were too upset to finish that liver, I might... <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Uh, remember to breathe. Ah, <clears throat> oh, that hits the spot. It could be the answer to all your problems. Magic here, little magic there, and poof, you're student of the year. No, Salem. If I'm going to win, I've got to do it fair and square, just like my mom did. That's the spirit, Sabrina. You don't need any magical help to win. You are your mother's daughter, a fine young woman, an intelligent girl. You are smart, you are good, you are kind and decent. And come Friday, Sabrina, I assure you, you will be... Student of the Year!
I'm smart, and I'm good, and I'm going to win. Uncle Quigley is right. I'm... Oh, no! This means I'm going to lose for sure! I'm getting a zit! Sabrina, what's wrong? We heard you scream. You thinking what I'm thinking, Hilda? What are you doing? Isn't it obvious? Paroxia, the queen of the reflection realm, is trying to invade our dimension again. Only this time, she's picked the wrong bathroom mirror. I thought we had an agreement. This house is a magic-free zone. Tell that to Paroxia. Stand back, Quig. This is war. Huh? No! It's not Paroxia, whoever she is, I have a zit! A pimple? Where? It's barely noticeable. You really can't notice it, Aunt Hilda? Are you sure? It's a teeny tiny red thing. All you need is a little concealer. A little concealer? No problem. I always put my hand on my chin when I do some heavy-duty thinking. Uh-huh. It helps me think even better. Hi, Sabrina. <gasps> uh, Sabrina? I think you've got a... Excuse me. Wow! Out of my way, everyone. Glamorous and beautiful student of the year material coming through. Oh, it's a bother being so perfect. But my admiring public seems to enjoy it. Ugh. Oh. Strand of hair out of place. Better. Nice zit, Spellman. I wouldn't want a picture of someone with a thing like that on her face to hang on the wall of achievement forever. Gross! That's not a zit. Like I started to tell you, Sabrina, there was a dot of strawberry jam on your face. Well, it could have been raspberry, but, but for sure jam. Zitter knows it, you're still gonna lose. That whole proud family tradition thing? What a joke. Like there was something special about those other Sabrinas. They probably only won because they didn't have any real competition. I mean, how hard was it to look good back then? Everything was in black and white for crying out loud. That does it, Jem. Nobody insults my family and gets away with it. You are going to be so sorry. I don't care what all the book reviews said, this guide to the birds of North America is absolutely delicious reading. Story hour is over, Salem. Time to get down to business. My, aren't we feeling a little witchy? Let's just take a time out on the smart remarks, okay? I've decided you're right. If Jem is going to try to use her family wealth to win student of the year, I don't see why I shouldn't use my family inheritance. Magic. Really? Do you mean it? You're not just toying with me? My mom was special, and so was my grandmother and my great-grandmother. And now, if I don't win Student of the Year, Jem's going to use that as some kind of proof that they weren't. And I'm not going to let that happen. Now show me the magic, Salem. I have just the thing. This entire box of brand new spells was delivered this morning. I got such a deal, you would not believe the money you can save shopping online on the Witch Wide Web. Now, to find exactly the right spell, popularity, Winner's charm, a stop the ballot box incantation. No, something that will make Gemstone sorry for the rest of her life that she ever even thought about insulting my family. Ooh, I just loves it when you get catty. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, no peeking. Make sure Gem's the one who looks in the mirror. Trust me, it won't be pretty. I can't wait. It's payback time, Jem. Now remember, Pi, vote for me for Student of the Year, and I'll eat lunch with you for an entire semester and pay for it, too. Let me think about that. Wait, I've got it. How about you buy me the lunches, but not actually eat them with me? Yeah, later. Great outfit, Spellman. I just never get tired of seeing you in it. Thanks, Jem. What a sweet thing to say. Hug, hug, kiss, kiss. Get away from me. You're gonna mess up my hair. <laughs> nice 
mustache, Jem. I'd hate to think of a picture of someone with a thing like that on her face hanging on the wall of achievement forever. Gross. Um, uh, of course what she doesn't realize is that mustaches are the rage in Europe right now. All the supermodels are wearing them. <laughs> My glamorous grip on the electorate is slipping. Get in here, now! That's better. Ugh. Ooh, great wax teeth, Jim. But aren't you a little early for Halloween? Oh, no! I have buck teeth! I'm a freak! Ah! Ah! Oh! Hey, Jim! Maybe you can be Stu Dental of the Year. Oh! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Thank you. I look fine now, right? Oh, Jem, Idy's off on the groceries if I were you. <laughs> What's happening to me? I've never felt so bad in my whole life. It just hurts too much. <laughs> Jem, don't cry. It's okay. It's all over now. You're fine. Oh, wow. I thought this would be so great, but it's awful. I'm sorry, okay? Really? Jeez, did I mess up. Welcome, students, to the annual Greendale Middle School Student of the Year Award Ceremony. The students and the faculty have voted, and the results are in. And this year's recipient is a young lady who has made us all very proud to have her as a member of our student body. Don't let us down, okay? Promise? Wow, this is heavy-duty stuff. Faculty, parents, Greendale students, and all you people out there in TV land. I am proud to present this year's Student of the Year, Sabrina Spellman. Yay! And since this is such a special moment for you and your family, Sabrina, the school has arranged a very special surprise. We have set up a special satellite hookup to your mother at her archaeological dig in Egypt. Go ahead, dear. Take the phone. Hello, Mommy? Mommy? Hi. Oh, oh man. Is this touching? I am so very proud of you. Just as proud as Grandma and Great Grandma would be if they could see what a wonderful girl you've grown up to be. Oh, how I wish I could be there to give you a hug right now. I love you, Sabrina. I love you too, Mom. Thank you for giving me this award, but I can't accept it. Being student of the year is about being the best you can be. For the last few days, I haven't been the best I can be. I've been somebody I'm ashamed of. I've been mean-spirited and selfish, and I enjoyed making somebody else feel bad. I also used unfair tactics just so I could win. Now I'll never know if I really could have earned a place on the wall of achievement or not, all because I tried to cheat. I'm sorry, and I apologize to my family and my friends for doing the one thing I really didn't ever want to do, to let them down. I, uh, I suppose then that this award goes to our runner-up, Gemstone! I get it then! It's all mine! I want to thank all the little people I had to step on on my way to the top. Nah, step on this. Sabrina, 
Go ahead and say whatever you want. I deserve it. I think there's something important that you need to hear first. It's a message, Crystal Ball. Press the red button. You have one message. Honey, what you did was wrong, and I'm so glad that you owned up to it and set things right. You're growing up to be a smart, responsible girl, and that makes me very proud. You've learned an important lesson. Love you lots. That goes double for your friends. Of course, the fact that we still love and respect you doesn't mean that you won't be grounded for a month for cheating with magic. A whole month? Ugh. Good. You found Sabrina. Hey, is that what I think it is? Uh, depends. What do you think it is? It's one of those new video phones, isn't it? Cool. Can I make a call? Maybe next time. Phew. Phew. Heavy lies the burden of being the prettiest girl in school. I mean, you have to watch what you eat, do your hair every day, use the right makeup, which reminds me of this really cute story that happened to me in kindergarten. And I thought the regular school assemblies were boring. <laughs> dum -de dum 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 A bubblegum girls concert right here in Greendale. I have got to look exactly right. If you chew my bubblegum, I'll know that you like me. If you step in loud and proud, you will really thank me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, make it stop. I'll talk, I'll talk. I killed Miss Plum in the library with a candlestick. Yeah, uh-huh. Hey. Salem, what's your damage? I'm just getting in the mood for the concert tonight. If You Chew My Bubblegum is only the hottest song by the Bubblegum Girls, who just happen to be the hottest girl group on the planet. I know. It's a great song. That's why I couldn't just sit by and allow it to be slaughtered. <laughs> Honey, when it comes to being hip to the tunes, I am the man. Now, I do hope you remembered to include your favorite kitty when you were buying the tickets. Tickets? I spent all my allowance on these outfits and I forgot to buy the tickets. The details. You never pay attention to the details. Crazy idea here, but go with me. What do you say we leave the nagging for another time and maybe concentrate on fixing the problem? Fine. I'll just call Murray. Murray? <gasps> Murray, the licensed scalper goblin at your service. Scalper Goblin? Huh? Oh, mock me if you will, Missy, but I happen to supply discount tickets to all the big events. Any universe, any dimension, all major food groups, organisms, and species. Now, what'll it be? Can you get me a ticket to the Bubblegum Girls concert tonight? <clears throat> uh, two tickets. Uh, let's see. I got great seats to the creation of the world. I can get you a seat on the space shuttle, front row seat at every Star Wars premiere for the next 40 years. But the Bubblegum Girls... Uh, sorry, kids, sold out. Uh, however, I happen to know that my cousin Lenny, the licensed ticket agent in the real world, has a couple he's holding back. It'll cost you, but it's your only hope. <laughs> But in the real world, tickets cost money, and I don't have any money. What am I going to do? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to find a way to make some money. I'll mow the lawn, I'll wash cars, I'll paint the house. <laughs> Who wants a healthy, hearty bowl of my prune oatmeal to start the day? Thanks anyway, Quigley. Uh, we'll just whip something up for ourselves. Hello. Oh, hello, Mrs. Head Susie. What? You say you need someone to chaperone your twins on their second grade field trip to the art museum, and you're wondering if Hilda or Zelda might be available. The twins! Red alert! You'll pay them $35? I'll do it, Mrs. Fantuzzi. Okay. Uh-huh. In one hour. Bye. Yes! Sabrina Spellman is on her way to the Bubblegum Girls concert. Sabrina, you've never babysat before. Trust me, the Fantuzzi kids aren't for first-timers. Let me put it this way. 
I babysat for Ivan the Terrible when he was little. Ivan was an easier gig. Sabrina, for once you might want to listen to the voices of experience. Chill, Uncle Quigley. They're just a couple of little kids. How much trouble can they be? This is going to be so cool. I'll invite Harvey to come with me, and that way I can get quality time with him and the money for the concert. Over here! Hey, thanks for saying yes to hanging with me while I do the babysitting thing. Yeah, well, I figured you could probably use some help. Little kids can be weird. Like, whenever I have to watch my cousin Ralphie, he always wants to pretend like he's this intergalactic asteroid smasher. I have to be the asteroid. Ralphie's pretty hefty for his age. He can be painful. <laughs> Sabrina, you're a real lifesaver. I gotta get to work. I gotta track down a giant stick of exploding bubblegum. Oh, don't ask. I'll be back at five. James and Dean have my cell phone number. Say hi to Sabrina, boys. Hi, Sabrina. Thanks for chaperoning us. You're welcome. And this is my friend, Harvey. Hello, Harvey. Forget your cousin, Ralphie. This babysitting gig is going to be a piece of cake. <laughs> Okay, a really wet piece of cake. I think we're in over our heads, Sabrina. No, we're not. You think they tunneled out? Maybe you'd better go see. Okay. But the way this is shaping up, I'm getting the feeling you're gonna owe me. You're gonna owe me big time. <laughs> oh no! in the museum. Well, we were just trying to catch up to... The darn audio tape tours, they uh, go so fast, it's hard to keep up. Oh, don't play games with me. If I see any more of your horseplay, I'll call your parents and you're out of here. Understand? What's up with you shutting me up like that? It's my first time doing this. I just don't want to look like the world's lamest babysitter, okay? <laughs> Just starting to make Cousin Ralphie look good. You keep an eye out for the guards. I'll grab the twins. Oh, please let me get this right the first time. <gasps> this is for you, you rude little dudes. Something to completely change your attitude. <laughs> Don't. Um, um, 
a spell. I've got to come up with a spell. You're at a museum, but you're too much trouble, so begin to fit in, um, on the double. Gotcha! Please tell me that didn't just happen. Please tell me I didn't just zap Harvey and the twins into oblivion. I don't know where we are, how we got here, but boy are you going to be in trouble when I get my hands on you. <laughs> oh, good, I zapped them into a painting. How was that good? How am I going to get them out of this? How am I going to get out of this? This is turning into a nightmare. Why didn't I listen to Hilda and Zelda? <laughs> huh? No, wait! Come back! Huh? Oh, I, uh, just wanted to... Is this a paint by numbers or connect the dots? Don't push your luck, kid. Finger, don't fail me now. Impressive, Spellman. Something you did actually worked. Okay, now where did they go? Do you refer to the two petite savages? <gasps> I brought the whole painting to life? Those dreadful children have smashed my umbrella. And ruined my hat. Get me. Step on my baby. Oh, and if all of that wasn't bad enough, the little monsters grabbed my eclairs and... Sorry. Don't have time to listen to the rest of it. See ya! And then they ran off! That way. Whoa! Oh! 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 Please let me land someplace so... Boy, the things I do for Sabrina. This is the freakiest museum I've ever been in. me out when they both talk together like that. Come to think of it, them running upside down like that is pretty creepy too. Don't make me come up there! Uh, down there! I'm starting to hate you guys. Ah, yes! And here we have a wonderful example of skewed perspective. It looks like the people in the picture are moving. <laughs> Yes, yes, it does. What? The doctor was right. I need to go back on my medication. Upset you? Really? I was um just looking for. Hey, you haven't seen two really rotten little kids and a really cute boy come through here, have you? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. Whoa! Did you see which way they went? <laughs> I hope you don't mind if I don't hang around to listen to the rest of this. Sheesh! Why is it so hard just to get a little information out of people? Whoa! Where did those little brats go? <gasps> Finally, there they are. If somebody had just given me directions, I wouldn't have had to waste so much time looking in the wrong places. Let's eat until we get a tummy ache. Yeah, and then let's cry and tell Mommy Sabrina said we had to. All right, you two, you're busted. Drop the spoons. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that does 
does it. You guys are gonna be sorry now. Hang on, Harvey. I'm coming. I hope. Don't do what Hilda said. Trust me, Zelda said. And what did Sabrina say? No, I don't have to listen. I know better than everybody. And then where did Sabrina land herself and her best friend Harvey? Not to mention two really nasty little kids in very deep doo-doo. Oh, no! <gasps> Harvey, are you in there? Hello, can you hear me? Uh, uh, Art speaks to me. <laughs> Harvey, James, Dean, anybody? Harvey, James, Dean! And here you see one of <gasps> Pop Art's greatest works. Whoa! <laughs> it's my personal favorite. The potato soup can. <laughs> There's a girl in my soup can. <laughs> yeah, little girl. Okay. The important thing is not to panic. Maybe Mrs. Fantuzzi and Harvey's parents will understand. After all, how many people can say their kids are in great works of art? Oh, wow. I'm losing it big time. Attention. It huh? is now 4.50. The museum will be closing in 10 minutes. Okay, you two, get ready for your black and blue period. <laughs> Sabrina, there's something I need to tell you. Not now, Harvey. I'm busy taking care of business. <laughs> but, uh, Sabrina! Later, Harvey. Don't have time to listen right now. Hey! No fair! You're bad! Trust me, so are you. That's why you're going to have a really big time out. You're going to sit down and... Sabrina, run! Uh-oh, I should have listened. Harvey, follow me! museum will be closing in five minutes. Whoa, and I never got to see that new, um, thingy that they have, uh, over there. Be right back. Want to see the water buffalo again? Oh, no! All right, the party's over, I hope. Huh? Yeah! Maybe nobody will notice. So what you're saying is it was a new virtual reality exhibit that was supposed to make you feel like you're actually in the paintings? Yeah, cool, huh? Yeah, 
but it gave me this weird pain between my shoulder blades. So, did you boys have fun? Yes, except for when the buffalo chased us. And Sabrina made us jump in the river. Uh-oh. <laughs> you two and your wild imaginations. I hope they weren't too much trouble, Sabrina. No, it was a piece of cake. Shouldn't you be getting ready for the concert? Not going. Everything was so crazy. Not only am I exhausted, I forgot to get my babysitting money from Mrs. Fantuzzi. No way to get a ticket. Oh, and why's that? Okay, I admit it. You're right. Those kids were total nightmares, and I should have listened to the voices of experience. Now I'm gonna go upstairs and soak my finger. And thanks for not saying I told you so. Oh, we wouldn't do that. <laughs> Told you so. Very cute. <gasps> it's you! Hello, Sabrina! Thank you for taking us to the museum. We want to go again. Soon! <laughs> they haven't stopped talking about it since we left. You've turned them into real art lovers. Personally, I would have gone with tree frogs. The radio station I work for is doing a Bubblegum Girls promotion. Remember this morning I was on my way to pick up Exploding Bubblegum? <laughs> a prop for the concert. So, here's your pay. And as a bonus for doing such a good job with the twins, here are four front row tickets for tonight. Wow. I mean, wow! If you chew my bubblegum, I'll know that you like me. If you snap it loud and rap, you will really excite me. You will really You will really psych me. You will really psych me. Forget it. Dum de dum dum dum. But why don't you want to see it? It's not like Leo DeWolf does a live stage play every day. Look, I know girls love Leo, but I'd be the only guy in the audience. I can tell from the title. What's wrong with moonlit drenched nights of smooching enchantment? Right off, you know, nothing's gonna blow up. Besides, if any of the guys ever saw me coming out of there, they'd TP me to my bike. Now come on, we'll be late for school. What a lousy day to walk to school. Wait up, my shoe's untied. Whoa, I never saw the bridge so close to the water. The river's really high. Think it's safe to cross? Sure, this bridge has been here a hundred years. <laughs> See, solid as a rock. Uh-oh. Yeah! Harvey! Harvey, where are you? Whoa! Whoa! Oh my gosh! I'm coming, Harvey! Whoa! <coughs> Sabrina? Harvey, are you okay? Sabrina! You... you saved me! Huh? Last thing I remember was falling in the water. Now here we are. You must have dived in and saved me. Oh, I can't believe how brave that was. What? Oh, no, Harvey, I didn't. We almost went right through those broken boards. Hey, there's Harvey and Sabrina. Guys! Are you okay? We're fine. Sabrina just saved my life. But, Harvey, I didn't. She did what? She dove into that raging river and pulled me out. That's what. <laughs> Look, you got it all wrong. Wow. It's just like when my hamster fell in the toilet. Except it's Harvey and not a toilet. Sabrina, you're a hero. No, no, I'm not. 
it. She's just modest. I tell you, I was going down for the third time. Next thing I knew, she had me here on the riverbank. Hello? Is anyone listening? I did not. Wait. Let me say something first. I owe you my life. So if you want to go to that Leo DeWolf play, well, then I'd be honored to go with you. Now, what were you going to say? Um, uh, me? Uh, uh, nothing. Nothing at all. And then she dived off the bridge and swam a mile underwater to rescue him. I saw the whole thing. I hear she had to fight off two sharks, a submarine, and swim through a minefield. Get real. There's no sharks in Greendale. Jem, did you hear how Sabrina saved Harvey this morning? It's all anyone is talking about. Oh, give me a break. Save Harvey? Spellman couldn't save String. It's good to be warm and dry again. That river was freezing. Was it? What do you mean, was it? You jumped in too. Um, look, Harvey, about that. See, I didn't exactly. Sabrina, over here! Um, Earth to Callista, this is the cheerleader table. She can't sit here. She's a hero. That's almost as good as cheerleader. I say we give her special permission. Come on, Sabrina. You too, Harvey. Me? You want me at your table? I know it's a big honor, but since you risked your life this morning, you're practically popular. Oh, well, I don't know that I risked my life exactly. Come on, Sabrina. You were awesome. Look at her blush. She's so modest. And with so much to be modest about, Tell me, Spellman, exactly how did you save Harvey? Uh, well, you see... There she is! <gasps> As a girl, I once spoke to Gandhi. That was the greatest moment of my life, next to that weekend with a fire eater. But now I'm prouder to know Sabrina than anyone I ever met! Gee, thanks, Mrs. Bleachstain. It just proves that great heroes can come in small packages. <laughs> yep, small. And feeling smaller by the second. There's our little hero. Sabrina, we heard the news. We're so proud of you. You're a very special person, Sabrina. So I got you a very special gift, something you've been wanting for a long time. Yeehaw! A new mountain bike? Oh, Uncle Quigley, it's beautiful. Well, today you certainly earned it, saving Harvey's life. Oh, uh, no. No, I can't accept this. Look, there's something I've got to tell you all. I knew you'd want to make a statement. That's why I got a reporter over here. A uh, reporter? Addie Woodrow, Green Dale Gazette, and you're tomorrow's front page. F front page? I told him the whole story. How you had to dive to the bottom of the river to save Harvey from the jaws of a giant sponge? But that's not what... <gasps> Let's get another with your aunts and try not to blink, will ya? This is the proudest moment in Spellman family history. It is? Sure. We haven't had a real hero in the family since Uncle Finbar gave Genghis Khan a noogie. <laughs> when those Mongol hordes finished with him, he was known as Finbar the Flat. <laughs> well, it's great to do a story on a real hero, not like that jerk last year who faked the rescue just to get his picture in the paper. No kidding. Why, anyone who lies about a thing like that ought to be tarred and feathered. <laughs> You want to make a statement for the press, Miss Spellman? Yeah, I do. This hero business they told you about? Uh, well, what I did... I'm sure a lot of people would have done it. Well, I know I would have. Keeping your mouth shut was a smart move. Think so? I'm not so sure. Yeah, I see your point. You got a date with Harvey, a new bike, your picture in the paper, and the respect of everyone at school. Hey, who wouldn't be ticked off? But I can't enjoy any of it because I'm a fake, a fraud, a phony. And that's a bad thing, right? I mean, it's not like I told a lie, exactly. But I didn't tell the truth, and that's just as bad. You know, maybe it's not too late. Maybe I can still tell them what really happened. Oh, good thinking. You'll get that warm, fuzzy feeling from being honest. Of course, you'll also get grounded, expelled, Harvey will never speak to you again, and you'll be branded for life. Yep, sounds like the way to go. You... you really think Harvey would hate me? 
After making him look like a complete onion dip for calling you a hero? Come on, girl, give yourself a break. I mean, you would have saved him if you'd had the chance, right? Hey, wait a minute. That's it. If I could go back in time to this morning, right before Harvey fell in, maybe I really could save him. Sure, just jump right in. Then we'll have two drowning doofuses. Oh, and don't look for me to pull you out. I don't do water. No. I mean, I could stop him from falling in in the first place. That means no danger to Harvey, no one mistaking me for a hero, and no embarrassing confession. Hmm, could work. And if I go back to this morning, I get two breakfasts. Salem, what have we got for time travel? Well, there's this old thing. The second hand's a little slow, but it does the job. Just think when you want us to arrive, then turn it over. Great, thanks, Salem. You're sure this will work? Hey, we're just changing history. What could go wrong? Oh my gosh! I've only got two seconds to save him! Just remember, I don't swim. Sure, this thing's been here a hundred years. Harvey, no! Ow! I think I bent my kidney. Oh no! Harvey, you're safe! Uh, from what? Look out! The bridge is collapsing! Ah! Harvey! Ah! No! I stopped Harvey from falling through, so now the school bus did! Whoa! Did I mention I hate height also? jumped on that bumper and kept the bus from falling over. Huh? He's right. We'd all have fallen in if it wasn't for you. Wait a minute. No, you don't. She saved ten people! What a hero! The bravest girl I ever met! Call the papers! He's gonna be famous! <laughs> great. Just great. By stopping Harvey's accident, I ended up causing an even bigger one. What are you complaining about? I'm the one who took the unscheduled flight to Duluth. Anyway, no one on the bus got hurt. Right. So now I'm ten times the hero I was last time. But I still didn't do anything heroic. Sabrina, over here! I don't care how many people she supposedly saved. I'm not sitting with her. Either she goes or I do. Great idea! I hear they have an opening at the nerd table. What? Ugh! Here, Sabrina, you can have Jem seat permanently. Now tell us the whole story from the beginning. Sabrina, you know that Leo DeWolf play you wanted me to see with you? Well, I went over to the theater to get us tickets. What? Oh, Harvey. And while I was there, I ran into someone who wants to meet you personally. Leo <laughs> Sabrina Spellman, you are the most incredible girl I've ever met. You're making too much of this. You guys don't owe me anything. Attention, students! In honor of our hometown hero, Sabrina Spellman, I declare today a school holiday! Our little hero, I have something for you. Uncle Quigley, please tell me you didn't buy me a new bike. A bike for saving an entire busload of kids? <laughs> <gasps> you got me a horse? Oh, Uncle Quigley. 
Back off, Mr. Ed. This stays with the outfit. We're so proud of you, Sabrina. We arranged everything for your interview. Zelda, please, I don't want to talk to the newspaper. Who said anything about a newspaper? Ah! TV! Live, via satellite to all the talk shows. Now, don't be nervous. Just forget 50 million people are watching you. Oh, Mama, when you change history, you do it right. Yes, sir, you can be proud and loud. Proud? This is even worse than before. I'm a bigger hero than ever, and I still don't deserve any of it. I'll never get it. Must be one of those mortal things. All right, there's only one thing to do. This time, we're going all the way back to sunrise this morning and make that bridge collapse when no one's around. That way, there's no Harvey to save and no bus to save. Ooh, collapsing a bridge! One of my favorite spells. Okay, Salem, what's your great spell for making a bridge fall down? Let the waters wash away the span so I can finish up my plan. Is it working? I hear it, but nothing's happening to the bridge. Salem, what exactly is a span anyway? It means a bridge. Or a dam. Huh? A dam? Maybe we should have been more specific? It's a miracle no one was killed! Well, Sabrina, you did it! I... I didn't mean to. Honest. You just saved everyone in town! Oh, man. And when we rebuild our school, it will be named Sabrina Spellman Junior High! <laughs> oh, well, Sabrina, we are, like, so yours to command. Tell us what to do, we'll do it! Just shoot me, now. I know, we'll start by giving Jem a wedgie. What? You, you wouldn't dare. Ah! And I'm buying you a limo with your own driver. Oh sure, I'll have to cash in my life insurance policy, but nothing's too good for our hero. It's the president for you. He wants to put your face on the nickel. Hold out for the dime. Oh. Sabrina, when we grow up, Will you marry me? Oh, no, 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 no! Please, somebody tell me this is a bad dream. You know, I would, but I'm really loving that limo idea. Oh. Frankly, I didn't think you could top yourself, but you hit the jackpot. Now you're a hero to the whole country. Hero? Heroes don't cause bus accidents. Heroes don't flood their town. What are you complaining about? It washed away the bridge, didn't it? Oh, that stupid bridge! Why couldn't they have built it out of something stronger than wood? Wait a minute. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I could go for some tuna. No. I mean, we make sure that the bridge never falls down. Ordinarily, I'd advise against this, but you're on a hot streak. Okay. Take us back a hundred years to when that wood bridge first appeared. I need a spell to turn this bridge into stone. Nothing else, got it? Sheesh, a person would think you didn't trust me. I got just what you need. Okay. Bridge made out of flimsy wood. Be made of stone the way you should. Uh, you don't.
don't think turning a bridge to stone would change anything a hundred years from now, do you? Sabrina, don't be so paranoid. Let's go home and get some lunch. By Chinko, did you see that? She talks with cats, transforms our bridge to stone, and her name is Sabrina! Uh-oh. A poster? A and a statue? Sabrina Gas? <gasps> Sabrina Burger? Sabrinaville? What happened to Greendale? I don't know, but if a bunch of munchkins come out singing and dancing, I'm out of here. Uh, are you sure we're back to the present? Maybe we broke the hourglass or something. No, it's the right date. Uh. Say, does that statue make me look fat? They say bronze always adds 10 pounds, but... Uh -oh. How could one little bridge change the whole town? Good heavens! It's her, ha, Sabrina, our magical protector who conjured up our bridge of stone. I've waited a hundred years for the day when I'd see her again. That answer your question? All hail the ageless Sabrina, worker of miracles! All hail the ageless Sabrina! He saw me change the bridge. That's why everything's named after me. Listen to Miss Modest. I'm sure not everything is named after you. A worker of miracles, I'm Sabrina Flan. I'm Sabrina Bleach Stain. And this is Sabrina Fujitaki and Sabrina Horowitz. I take it back. They even name their babies after you. Oh. I'm Sabrina Kinkle. Even the boy babies. And this is Sabrina Stone. For some reason, I've never liked this name. Somebody boil some tar. Yikes! <laughs> Be wise with us. Be good with us. Please, let us touch you. Turn something to stone. We love you. We are just Sabrina. Enough with the adulation. Salem, give me the hourglass. But you did so great this time. Sure you want to push your luck? No, no more time travel. There's only one way out of this mess. <laughs> We're home. Everything's back to normal again. I hope. Oh, Mr. Woodrow, good, you're still here. Hey, Sabrina. Just came by to give a quote about you for the newspaper. And I just love to hear how you managed to catch up to Harvey in such a strong current. Well, there's a simple answer. I didn't. Huh? <gasps> Do you, you uh, dove in at the same time? I didn't dive in at all. I found Harvey unconscious on the riverbank. I was soaked, and when he came to, he just assumed I had saved him. I meant to tell him the truth, really. But when he said he'd take me to the play, I decided not to. I didn't lie exactly, but not telling the whole truth is just as bad. After that, things just kind of got out of hand. I hope Mrs. Bleachstain gives you double detention. Furthermore, you are now on my permanent snub list. Oh, great! Now all I have for the front page is a condemned bridge! I know you're disappointed, but you wouldn't want to be on the front page with a phony story. We understand, Sabrina. It's okay. Really. <sighs> I guess I better start looking for a paper route so I can pay Quigley back for that bike. You must be pretty mad at me. No, I kind of jumped to conclusions. Besides, if you have the guts to do what you just did, I guess I can face two hours of Leno mania. You mean you'll still go with me? What? Oh, Harvey, you're the best. Hey, take it easy. I didn't promise I was gonna like it. Thank you.